Morality can be understood to mean two different things. Our capacity for moral judgment, the fact that we judge some actions as good and some actions as, e as evil, and the norms by which we decide what is good and what is evil. Our capacity for moral behavior, the fact that we judge some actions as being good or evil in terms of their consequences, is determined by our biological makeup. It's a result of evolution. It's a result of the advanced intelligence that we have. Moral norms are not specified by the evolutionary process. Moral norms have to be consistent with the evolutionary processes, with our biology. We would have moral norms which are inconsistent with our biology. You know, we'll be destroying ourselves. Uh, for example, a moral norm that would say everybody should be celibate. Then a culture where that moral norm exists will not survive. But moral norms are the result of cultural traditions. They vary from one culture to another, from a social group to another social group. They vary through time. And they are inspired by the social experience, the cultural experience of different cultures. And very importantly, they are inspired by religious beliefs, by faith. And for many people, the main source in determining what the moral norms should be is their faith, their religious faith. Mm -hmm.